Hello SGD, Sacred Geometry Decoded and I'm taking a bit of a break from what I've been working on but I've uh, been diverted into uh, this area and so I'm going to post a uh, series and try and get as much get through as much as I quickly as I can but basically focused on Hermes Tresmegistus and the uh, Corpus Hermeticum otherwise known as the Hermetica. Uh, the famous saying, as above so below can see this image here, Hermes, there at the top, the compass and square and these essentially uh, planetary but also metallurgical symbols and of course the uh, winged dragon or, or uh, what's that, wyvern eating the snake's tail and we'll see the same thing here on this famous older image of Hermes Trismegistus as well as the sun and the moon as constant symbols. But also will be an exploration of Gnosticism, Neoplatonism, Hermeticism, also the Illuminati as a, uh, the original, let's call it. And we'll also be looking at, because these things are all interrelated, uh, Kabbalah, the Rosicrucians and Freemasons. And so it's, it's broad, but uh, we'll go through this quickly. So we have the uh, what's called the Corpus Hermeticum or the Hermetica. This is a... A, uh, basically a series of 14 books said to be uh, uh, originating from Hermes Trismegistus. It's a tangled web of, uh, well, it's a, and a Gordian knot, if you will, and a tangled web, and we'll have a look more and further. So what's, you know, internet famous in regards to this is the emerald tablet of Hermes Trismegistus. So this image goes around. This is not the ancient emerald tablet. This is a reconstruction of it. This is a drawing from the works of Heinrich Kunraff, a very famous, influential uh, hermeticist, alchemist. And But even, I'm going to use the word hermeticist very loosely at this moment because researching this particular one, it was a, a bit of a letdown from what a certain assumptions that I had because I was focusing on a, on a narrow uh, area. So... Heinrich Kunraff, you'll notice there's one feature is this imagery, whether it's uh, Albrecht Dürer and others who have this hand symbol going on in place, but also the compass, uh, uh, the importance of geometricians. This is an image uh, of Heinrich Kunraff in his lab, and what you'll notice is apart from all the chemical apparatus, so that's really what alchemy is now this word can be used in a broader sense and if it works for you that's great but when it comes down to these hermeticists alchemists the famous ones they are to the man geometricians and the woman geometricians uh, arithmetic geometry astronomy music theory essentially the quadrivium and chemists and they have the actual chemists tools there uh, it's not a ritual it's actual chemistry and that's an important feature to keep uh, in mind because unfortunately on the internet uh, there are commentators on alchemy uh, who will either diminish or totally ignore the the essence of these hermeticist alchemists etc they're all into their quadrant we'll, we'll go through I'll show you what I mean as we move through uh, this is another famous image by Kunraff, including the peacock, the blackbird, uh, also Rebus and Azoth. And you also see the alchemical wedding of the sun and the moon there as well. Uh, sulfur, salt and mercury is another uh, theme as well with this triangle. Recently did a couple of videos where I touched on that as well, but... This is from the Secret Symbols of a Rosicrucian. This is uh, published 1875. And here we can see the Tabula Smarag, Smaragdina. Or Hermetic. Now that translates to the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. And this is from the original uh, text. But we can get the translations of it. Now, throughout the... I'll place the link to this particular... Um, to the original to the source where you can get it but also to some english translations of it but mercurios mercurio that is hermes mercury in rome hermes in greek 
they are the gods of knowledge, science, geometry, arithmetic, commerce, navigation, and all these other factors. But what you'll find in the secret symbols of a Rosicrucians, essentially it's a Neoplatonic work, but you'll see how these are essentially Christian Neoplatonists or Christian Platonists in that sense, where they're incorporating Christianity with these older traditions. So, he's a hermetic philosophy. Now, what's interesting, if you do open and look through this book, you'll see that there's a, uh, it's in Germanic script, but if you scan through it, you'll see that there are certain words in, uh, let's call them a more modern English font that stand out as well. That's an, a nice theme, but they don't use it. Do I have an example on this page of that? Probably not. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, there you can see where it's not in the Germanic script, but uh, very often is, and then some words are not. Secret Symbols of a Rosicrucians, here's the, a translation of, of the Emerald Tablet. There, have been, there are varying translations of the Emerald Tablet. That's where this famous uh, As Above, So Below theme um, emerges. The above and the below, etc. Uh, and also the father is the sun, the mother is the moon, the wind carries in it its womb, and its nurse is the earth. We'll come back to this in not too few pages down. So I uh, was given and read this book, excellent book, The Forbidden Universe, Lynn Picknett and Clive Prince. I'll put in the, desc in the description as well a link to Lynn Picknett talking at the um, Origins uh, conference. Very interesting, but also I would, uh, having looked at this again, um, just offer, they're, uh, they're very determined in their sense, but we'll, we'll look further into that. So uh, one of the origins influences for them was this book by Francis Yates, Giordano Bruno and the Hermetic Tradition. And these uh, have formed the nub of a certain argument that's uh, been going through, and I think there is a lot of merit to it. I d definitely don't uh, take that away. I think it's definitely worth uh, reading, lots of information in there. However, the Corpus Hermeticum uh, Back in 2002, some people went back to the original texts and started translating and found that there is a lot of problems with the Corpus Hermeticum as it's been translated and most of these texts which were then repeated, repeated, repeated. Now the original first published 1471, uh, we'll come into those origins, uh, but this is an interesting issue as well, and it's always best whenever you're researching or looking into something to also look at the alternative. To so, um, if you, the beauty of the internet is that I can go into a search engine and it will take me exactly to where I ask it to take me. Uh, but then you get into a an echo chamber in a sense, and that you really, when you're searching anything, you need to also find that which is opposed to it, um, and that's the the search engine will give you exactly what you want, and if you look for exactly what you want, you won't find what you probably need to know. Things you don't know in research, things that you discover along the way, they're the, they're the important things, not what you type in and find. But throughout those books, um, they repeat the the story of Giordano Bruno and, and, and as an hermeticist. And there is good evidence for that, but I think we can, we'll examine this anyway further. So Giordano Bruno famously put on trial for his heresy. Now most will say Giordano Bruno was burned at the stake for his heliocentric heresy. Was it more than that? Well, yes, it's very. He, he was a heretic in many more aspects than that. At that time, there were other people promoting heliocentric views. They were not burned at the stake. There's a lot more to that, but uh, too much for this topic. Giordano Bruno, the Hermeticist, so Mercurius, Tresmegistus, Mercury, Tresmegistus, Hermes, Tresmegistus. It's just, essentially, it's the same character. Mercury in Rome, Hermes in Greek. So, he was uh, several significant figures in the church saw Hermeticism as being compatible with the Christian doctrine. These hermetic books were being moved around at that time. Uh, Giordano Bruno seems to have taken this notion even, f even further. However, it's not the heliocentric view he was promoting. It was 
more the views which were very similar to the Gnostics and the Alambraids. I'll get into those in the future. Uh, these were very dangerous views. So it's not the heliocentric view, but also, for instance, Nicholas Copernicus. He published on the heliocentric model, uh, 1543. Here's one of his diagrams, is was showing that view. And in the text, he attributes Trismegistus uh, in the text. Now, I put that into the Latin translator, Trismegistus to be visible God, the Sophodes, the amber of her eyes fixed upon all things. That's a translation I got from the internet. Uh, I don't read Latin, okay? But he was a mathematician, he was an astronomer, he was an economist. This, this will be the theme that will unite all of these uh, Hermeticists, Neoplatonists uh, and Gnostics as well. So I think it's more important to look at them broadly. And so what is a Hermeticist? I'm going to use that term loosely, but it's essentially it's Neoplatonism and uh, Gnosticism, which would relate to other certain uh, alternative schools of thinking. Now, they did have philosophical views that cannot be taken away, uh, but all of the Hermeticists, as they're called, have different philosophies, different views of the world, some of them much more secular, some of them very religious, let's call it. What unites all of them is that they're the quadrivium and the trivium, but math mathematics, astronomy, music, arithmetic, uh, economics, science, chemistry. This is the one theme that runs throughout and joins all of them. Their philosophies vary, their, religious, their religions vary, their strength and their religious beliefs vary, but that is what unites all of these particular figures. So now let's look at Siena Cathedral, groundbreaking, groundbreaking 1196, uh, and completed in 1348. Now the tiles on the floor here, you'll see, uh, there's the tiling, it's essentially, it's the rhombus inside the Vesica Pisces, which would create the flower of life, but also the sun and moon imagery, which is repeated throughout uh, later images of hermit, this general hermeticism, um, but the sun and the moon, this is also a very important feature in the alchemical work, such as that by Christian Rosenkrauts, Kunraf, um, Meyer, Mikkelspacher, etc. Here is an older uh, tabulum, uh, Smara Agdina, or the, the emerald turb, the emerald tablet of Hermes Trismegistus. Phoenician, Egyptian, ancient knowledge. Now, notice the sun and the moon and the earth, of course. Now, they also, he references Deuteronomy 33, verses 14, 13, 14, and 16. Now, also, solace, sun, lunar, moon, and terra, the earth. Now, they're capitalized, but the earth is not capitalized. But one of the, essentially, they're all the same, emerald tablet. The sun is its father, the moon is its mother, the wind hath carried it in its belly, the earth is its nurse. Uh, sun, earth, moon. Now if you bring up Deuteronomy 33, 13, and of Joseph, he said, uh, Blessed by the Lord be his land with the choicest gifts of heaven above, and of the deep that couches beneath. Now, as above, so below. Beneath is also below with the choicest fruits of the sun and the rich yield of its months um, and the abundance, uh, best gifts of the earth and its fullness. So that's Deuteronomy 33. As above, so below. We see reference there. Now other uh, translations of the Bible actually say below, not, below, not beneath, but it's the same thing. The sun, months, moon, and the earth. So what you'll find is that a lot of this is based in older religious uh, texts, but this will also extend to Egyptian, like the Book of the Dead, uh, uh, the pyramid texts, and etc. Sun, Earth, and Moon is a constant theme, and on the floor of Siena Cathedral itself, what do we have? We have Hermes Mercurius Trismegistus, Trismegistus, the, uh, Hermes the Thrice Great, or Hermes is equal to Mercury. So we will see this in cathedrals and uh, throughout a lot of uh, Christian 
uh, traditions, buildings and books. Okay, so I'm reaching the 15 minute mark. I'll leave it here, but we'll uh, carry on with other parts and we'll look into this further. A lot more to come. Cheers and have a good